Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this particular video, I'll be discussing about storytelling. Now, storytelling can be very, very important for attending interviews for data science or whenever you're doing some data science project in any companies because whenever you're doing any data science project, there are many stakeholders which you'll be actually communicating to. You know, you need to do a lot of analysis. You need to do, uh, you need to follow the life cycle of a data science project and continuously there are a lot of talkings with respect to different, different stakeholders regarding requirement gathering, regarding the type of data that you have to use and many other things. So first of all, I'll go ahead with the interview part. Now storytelling can play a very important role in interview part because the first question that you interview usually asks is that, tell me about yourself. Now, this particular question is pretty much important. Now, if you have in your mind regarding the data science life cycle and the type of task you have done completely from end to end, you should also know how you are going to tell them. And always remember the key point of uh, talking in the interview is that showing your strengths. It is not about showing your weakness. Whatever topics you are actually strong at, whatever things that you have actually done, in your project perfectly, you should try to showcase that particular thing. And because of that, you need to know how to actually tell a story, like how to tell a project in the terms of a story, right? And always remember guys, if you, if you, if you, if you see any movies, if you see, if you hear any stories, right? And if that story is very good from end, from starting to end, it will definitely create an impact on the audience. In, in the interview case, it will create an impact on the interviewer. So it is very much important that you have to think, you have to tell the whole project, you have to tell about the, yourself in, in a way, right? And so specifically that I'm telling in the form of a story. And always remember guys, this is very important. And in interview specifically, if I'm talking about, you need to actually showcase your stronger skills. So suppose if I am going for an interview and the first question that is asked about myself, like, tell me about yourself and what are the kind of projects that you have done. So I'll give a small introduction about myself, which all technology I have actually worked into. And then when I move into the project, I definitely will start from the exact life cycle of a data science project from the data gathering part. And then we'll, I'll move into feature engineering. I'll tell them about what are the different feature engineering techniques that I've actually done in my projects and what are the problems that I faced, you know, and this is pretty much important. Then we go to the feature selection part. What all statical methods that I've actually fo uh, followed in order to perform feature selection. Then I'll go to the model creation. I'll go to the hyperparameter optimization. I'll also go with the model deployment part if I have done any. And then after deploying the model, how I have retrained the model. So if I try to say all these things in a specific way, if in, in a wonderful way, that will actually create an impact in front of the recruiters. Now, the other technique is that whenever you're working in some projects on, on, on some data science projects, right? At that time, what will happen is that you need to communicate with multiple stakeholders. They may be product owner, they may be managers, they may be domain expert people, they may be many more people like your payer developers with the database team because understand data science project is just not about one person that is a data scientist. You have various other roles and I've already created a video regarding that. You have database administrator, you have uh, data architect, you have uh, data analyst, you have domain expert person, you have ML engineers, you have ML researcher and many more people. And one, one very important role that I've missed is analyticals manager, right? We also call them as a data manager, right? So many roles are there and you need to constantly talk to them, showcase your observation. So if you want to showcase any of the observation that you have actually done with respect to the data, the most important thing is that how you're going to represent in front of them, right? Uh, one, key, one way is that you actually create a report using some visualization tool, you create the observation, you write the observation, what all, what all you have achieved from that particular data. The, and after creating that report, you also need to explain in front of everyone, right? So for that case, storytelling is very, very important. Now, how you have to be good at storytelling? Storytelling, guys, it's all about talking, right? And if you know how to talk it in a pr proper way, definitely that will create an impact. So the best technique is that please focus on each and every life cycle that you want to do in a data science project. You are doing in a data science project. And based on that, you have to interlink each and every life cycle in that particular project. And if you are able to do that, definitely the presentation will look like a book, which will have the story completely from start till the end. And definitely I'll tell you guys that will create an impact to the recruiters. 
So I would I would suggest you that practice these things. It will it will not you'll not be just be perfect with within one day or two day. There is a continuous practice required to that. Take your friends, uh, consider your friends, your peers, and try to explain them the project that you have actually done. Whether you are in the same company, right? You try to explain them what all things you have done. Try to showcase your key points so that the recruiter gets impressed by seeing that oh you have done this. And some of the answers, even recruiter, if they don't know, it will also, uh, they'll, they'll come to know and they'll find it much more interesting. So yes, uh, storytelling is one of the most key important thing. I would suggest that please practice it, you know, practice it, try to become perfect in that. It will definitely create an impact in your career towards data science. If you're looking for transition and if you are looking for excelling your growth, right? So yes, this was all about this particular video. I hope you like it. Please do subscribe the channel if you have not already subscribed. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you one and all.